All right, now looking at some of the muscles of the shoulder. So firstly, if we look at trapezius, we can see on this model trapezius, and we can see that there are inferior and middle and then superior fibers. Trapezius, very large muscle. We can see on the other side, deep to trapezius are the rhomboids. So here we have rhomboid minor and then rhomboid major. Now on this model, they've made them all one muscle mass, so they're not actually differentiated in. But they have numbered them, minor at the top, major at the bottom. Then, uh, on the left we've got supraspinatus, the spine of the So then these fibres here will all be infraspinatus and then you can just see teres minor just here. Maybe if I just move slightly that might be a bit clearer. So infraspinatus is all these fibres here. This last little bundle of fibres here is teres minor and then the larger bundle here going to a more anterior position on the humerus is teres major. Of course we have the deltoid here, just uh, superior to what we're looking at there. And then coming from the superior angle of the scapula, here we have levator scapulae. And that's heading up to C1 to C4. Then over this side on the right we have latissimus dorsi. And again the deltoid and we can actually see infraspinatus, teres minor and major on this side as well, but not as clearly. They're not as easy to differentiate. So if I were to pin them in an exam, I tend to pin them on the other side where they're, or on a specimen where they're much more uh, clear, they're much easier to spot them.